distinguished ladies and gentlemen, never before in the history of our country has there been a more compelling case for change and transformation in all spheres of our national life. After 67 years of independence, we are still grappling with the fundamental challenges of development. An economy in crisis, an extraordinarily high level of unemployment, a declining health care delivery system, an educational system that does not respond to our current and future development needs, the rampant and irresponsible exploitation of our natural resources, and the deplorable state of infrastructure, including but not limited to road and rail networks, energy, water, and sanitation. We certainly deserve better than this as a people. But the challenge for us is how do we fix this? Fellow countrymen and women, to overcome our challenges, I propose the following six fundamental considerations. One, ushering in a new type of leadership in Ghana. Leadership that is visionary, competent, accountable, transparent, action-oriented, resource-driven, and compassionate. Two, implementing transformational policies. Governance is about policy-making and execution. Number three, making private sector the real engine of growth and development. The development of the most powerful economies in the world has been anchored on and driven by a vibrant private sector. Micro, small, and medium enterprises must be the agents of the transformation of our economy. The divisiveness in our body politic, driven by the duopoly of the two dominant parties, the NDC and the MPP, has been the major destabilizing factor for progress in Ghana. Five, putting young people and women at the center of our national development agenda. Number six, and last but not the least, inspiring a revolutionary change in the mindset and behavior of Ghanaians. For Ghana to transform, we need first to transform our own mindsets.